Hey guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Mark and Lucy's Power Review Time. Today we're doing another video on the War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege. This time we're doing Hound, so on the side of the box you've got artwork of Hound. In the back it shows you like the Battle Masters and all that. And whatever else it is. And then the side is do art. So let's, like all the others, you get the instructions, but well, we're not going to need that. So bring Hound in, and there's Hound. With a cup of tea. <laughs> well, let's move my tea out of the way. Let's get into the review. So looking at Hound, he's just a little... He's small. I would say if I had a Transformer... Looking at a standard transformer, let's say Perceptor, he's literally up to Perceptor's leg. So yeah, looking at going into a bigger figure like Power of the Prime, say Optimus Prime, he's really tiny on in vehicle mode. And then going into another figure to show you his little Bumby. Just nearly the same size as him. So let's get him into the transformation. First of all, we got to take off all his accessories. Sorry. Um, Tia, I know you want to show hey, hello to the viewers, but stop. So all his guns do is combining his guns. And that's how it combines. I don't know if you know if it tells you the name of the gun in this. Effector B Mega Blaster. There we go. So, let's get into transformation. So, what we want to do is come to the back pit and undo, untab these parts, then come to the front and untab these. And then, what we want to do is come back around here, pull these out of the way, and just literally pull them da down so go try and do this without breaking this so there we go so once you've done that you can start moving the arms out and then we can go and start putting parts in so next what you want to do is come to the feet and open these the toes up Ooh. and I open the toes up so literally the toes right there right then you gotta come and tab this little tab in there so I'm trying to move your leg and push this what will tab into that little tab right there into here so you'll hear a little tap like so, and then rotate the foot. So, do that again. Pull this, untab that, and just push the foot down. Right, now the arms are out of the way. Come to the whole top section and pull it straight down. So, you show Hound's head. Tab the arms in, rotate the arms. And then come to the back and grab this section and literally pull it all the way up and straight down. So you click into space, place. And then you can get his gun. And you don't have to have it like this. I could just take it off like this and put these two bits together. What are? Easier said than done because there's a little tab right there. And there you go. So he's got like a Tommy gun, so you put that in his arm. That does pop off quite a lot, this um part. It's quite annoying. And then you take this little gun and you can put it up here like his G1. Or have him hold it. I like to put it up here. And try not... You know what, we're going to leave the little this bit off for a minute, so we're going to put 
back there and we're going to actually put this part back on it and not being very good today with this so make sure that's on so articulation on the hound is he got slight movement in his head looks up and down rotates his arms all 360 degrees so it's all out there um a spy hat arm with um pec area elbow and then movement at the elbow and movement on the fist movement on the um, waist kicks that far kicks out that far does the splits once you move bits out of the way does the splits knee articulation and foot articulation and that is it putting him next to preceptor again he looks like a stat, a bit same size as him. Going next to Bumblebee. It's a little bit taller than Bumblebee. And then putting him next to Power the Prime's Optimus. He comes up to Optimus's crutch. Yeah. So, yeah. Would I recommend Hound for you? Yes. If you've got Cog, you can put parts onto him, but I personally don't want to put parts on him because I just legally think they are so stupid. Is And I can prove to you what I mean, is with Cog's arm thing, you've got to kind of make it kind of into a gun for him. So, put that like that, and then put the Cog on like so. Then next you've got to come here and take Cog's arms off and lose the gun and then take his feet off and then you want to put these in as well and then I find this really stupid because they have tabs holes here so you can put them on any of your um, siege figures Next you want to come to these, keep doing that, and again, and then we want to pull the guns off, like so, and then the guns like that so again doing this off camera because it's just easier to show you what I mean like so then I probably have done this wrong, but that's what it looks like. Then you just take the tab out, like so. And you can put it on to the back of Hound or Sideswipe or whoever. And just... And just weaponize him up. Like so. I personally don't like it like this I'd just rather have a hound normally so let's take them off and just bring them to the side so guys I hope you enjoyed the review of Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege Hound I hope to get some more of these so like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button for up to date videos and more. Join the Facebook page on Marks Figures and Micro Toys. And I'll catch you all next time.
Bye for now.